the seventh Sunday after Pentecost, year A, from the book of Genesis. How awesome is this place? This is none other than the house of God, and this is the gate of heaven. In the name of our God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. In these less than awe-inspiring times, our readings bring us face to face with Jacob, a man on the run. Jacob, who has connived and swindled his way into everything he's got. Here's God, promising not only that Jacob will survive, but that he will have a home place and children who will overflow that home place. Jacob hears that God is with him wherever he may go. And that, my friends, is pretty darn awesome. Our psalmist has similarly experienced God as ever-loving and ever-present, knowing our ways and our words, searching us out and knowing our hearts, no matter where we hide. Paul describes us as hidden in the womb of creation, where only God can truly see us. How and in what form we will emerge from this time of gestation relies upon the hope, the promise that is yet to be seen. But in the midst of this time of waiting, this time of exile, this growing season, Jesus assures us that we will emerge resembling the God whose children we are. We are like wheat sown in a field, surrounded by forces, by principalities and powers that threaten to choke the goodness out of us. All these readings agree that God wants us to focus on who and how we are here and now. This place is awesome, <laughs> all appearances to the contrary. And here it is that we will find our inheritance. This field is growing the way it should, supporting the seed that God himself has sown. These words on our lips are known altogether by the Lord, and indeed, this moment holds the opportunity for us to be saved in the hope to which our loving, liberating, and life-giving God is calling us. In the name of that God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.